If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are giving Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are giving Mr. Hitler Saying goodbye, goodbye, Sally. I don't want you to cry. I want to see that smile, that wonderful. Gentlemen, right, Pierce. This is your show, so I'm going to allow you to do all the talking. Thanks, Josh. Well, gentlemen, this is it. it contains two thousand pounds of high explosive, and will knock out an enemy pillbox, no matter how thick, up to a range of three miles. It's called the high explosive attack device propelled by ultra-high frequency. Code name, Head Poof. <laughs> you can actually home it onto a target with the radio. I'll show you, Sir Charles. We are here, enemy pillbox there. We start off. Now, it'll do anything we want it to do. Go around obstacles, turn left, turn right. It reaches the target and, hey, presto, up it goes. Well, I'm sorry, I shan't be able to be at the demonstration next week. But now tell me, what about security? This thing's red hot, you know. Oh, I'm not going to use any of the usual test ranges. I've picked a deserted aerodrome on the coast near a place called Warmington-on-Sea. I'm calling it Operation Catherine Wheel. Well, you'll need plenty of troops to seal off the area. Oh, I'm not going to use regulars. I'm using those, what you call them, those home things. <laughs> <laughs> home things? But you mean home guards. Uh, yes, that's right. It's where all the locals know the home guard, so they won't take any notice. My point is, if we don't create any fuss, we won't attract any attention. <laughs> sound thinking, Pius. Very sound. Now, there are three platoons in the area. The East Gate, under Captain Square, they'll guard the entrances. The Dimwich, under Captain Graham, they'll patrol the perimeter and keep out any snoopers. Now, what about admin? Fatigued, cookhouse. And who's going to dig the, uh, the what's names Who's going to do that? The Walmington on Sea Platoon. <laughs> now, they're run by a Captain, um, what's his name, Stuart? Uh, Captain Mannering. He's the local bank manager. And what did he say when you asked him to do the fatigues? Haven't told him yet. <laughs> I'm going to ask you today, sir. Well, it's not going to be easy to convince him that uh, his platoon's got to do the dirty work. <laughs> I'll talk him into it, sir. Give him plenty of soft soap, you know. Butter him up. <laughs> Make him feel important. There's nothing bank managers like better than feeling important. Follow the white line all the way. From the and that, Captain Manning, is a brief outline of the test. <laughs> I don't want to take up too much of your time. After all, you're a very important man. <laughs> all right, I wouldn't say I was all that important. <laughs> you, Wilson? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I see you always back your captain up, so yes, I always try to do my best. <laughs> well, Captain Mannering, I've uh, told you what the other Home Guard platoons will be doing at the test, but I haven't said what you'll be doing, have I? No, no, I'm very eager to learn. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, the fact is, uh, I uh, don't quite know how to put this. You see, uh, the fact is, uh, there are several things that have to be done, not very pleasant things, mm. and I, uh, best to say we, uh, well, it's... Uh, <laughs> And Say no more, Captain Stewart. You're trying to tell me that you want us for special duties, aren't you? Special duties? That's it? I want you for special duties. <laughs> you can rely on us. What exactly are special duties? Oh. <laughs> what sort of question is that? Well, I don't know. I mean, why should I know? No, the thing's secret, isn't it? Yeah. Hush, hush. We'll find out when we get there. Oh, yes, you'll find out, all right. <laughs> Jolly good. Now, Captain Manning, I want you to get your chaps together and brief them. Oh, and don't forget, absolute secrecy. Oh, and here's a list of things to bring with you. Ah, thank you. You can rely on my men. They won't breathe a word to a soul. And uh, may I just say how proud and privileged I am that you've chosen my platoon for these special duties? <laughs> Only have we... Oh, what a difference... Pay attention, everybody, please. Uh, platoon. Platoon. Attend. 
Shut. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant. Sergeant. Stand at ease. <laughs> now then. Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm sorry about the bunched upness of the men, but when you told us to creep down into this crypt, we didn't know that you wanted us to do parading motions. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jim. Thank you, sir. Now, I've asked you down here because what I have to say to you is secret. And I don't want it overheard by anyone. <clears throat> Cotton Mattering, would you mind speaking up a wee bit? <laughs> Can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> you're mumbling, mumbling. <laughs> the reason I'm keeping my voice down, Fraser, is because what I have to say is secret. It'll remain a secret unless you speak up. <laughs> All right, platoon, two and ten. Shut. Forward. March. Is that any better, sir? Thank you. <laughs> now, what I have to say is that... Uh, get these men back, will you? This is... Yes, ridiculous. all right. All right. Get them back. Backward, backward, shuffle. Off you go. All right. All right, sir. <coughs> now, what I have to say to you must not go outside this crypt. You understand? Oh, yeah. Sir. Yes. Now, on Saturday, a new... Secret weapon is being tested on the disused airfield. And we have been detailed for special duties. Ooh, what uh, exactly will we have to do, sir? I don't know yet, Fraser. But Captain Stewart has left a list of the articles that we have to bring along with us. So perhaps we can deduce something from that. Have you got the list? Well, yes, sir? I have, sir. Have Read you? it out, would you please? Somewhere here. Yes, right, here. Uh, right, so three knives and three shovels. <laughs> three knives and three shovels. Now, what are we to hazard from that? Well, I think I've got it, Captain Mannering. If we find a fifth columnist, we kill him and then we bury him. <laughs> now, look, Walker. Don't start. <laughs> <laughs> what else is on the list? Uh, three bars of soap, three scrubbing brushes and three buckets. <laughs> but it's a dirty secret weapon. <laughs> and we've got to clean it, see? No, I, I shouldn't think so, Corporal. No, I... You're going to have experts for that sort of work. However, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll all back me up to the hilt. Oh, oh yes. Sir, oh, yes. Sir, yeah. sir oh, I've just been struck by something deadly. No, you can't tell me there are scorpions down here. Now, sir, I, I look at it this way. We are now all put in possession of highly secret information. Now, suppose we was captured by an enemy agent, sir. How long could we stand out against torture before we revealed ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're getting into the realms of fantasy now, <laughs> Just a minute, Mr. Man, don't give me that realms of what's in name, please. This is vital. I could be tortured. Any of us could. Oh, pull yourself together, Joe. No, sir, no, sir. I've got to wake you to this deadly danger, sir. Get him back in I've got to wake right. you right. to right. it. Right. 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 Calm down. Calm down. Get back into the rest. Go on. Mr. Manning? Yes? They might use that torture where they tip your head back and pour gallons of water down you. Oh, dear. I don't think I can stand it much of that. I'd like to volunteer to be tortured, sir. I'd like to be the guinea pig, sir. I would like to suffer. I demand to suffer, sir. I demand to suffer, sir. Yeah, shut up! <laughs> what would you do that for? That hurt. Oh, oh, no, no, no. As you can see, the corporal was getting hysterical. He was getting us all on edge. Right, 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 calm down. Keep quiet. Keep Settle quiet. down. Quiet. Now, I must warn you that whatever else happens, we've got Excuse to... Excuse me, sir. Yeah? There is somebody lurking in the shadows. <coughs> Pretend you haven't seen him. Yes, all right, sir. Think <laughs> nonchalantly and That's change right. places with right, me. Right, right, right. Now. That's it. They're all right, yes. <clears throat> now, I must point out to you that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Out of voice. Get your hands in. Oh, oh, how dare you spy on us? I wasn't spying on you. The light from your candles was flickering through the grating. No. A jerry plane to see it from miles away. Uh, don't point that gun at me. Oh, Lord, sir, he must have heard everything we said. Mum, you'll blow the gaff. Of course I won't. I'm fighting for my country the same as you are. You can't rely on him, sir. A couple of drinks and he's a right blabbermouth. <laughs> Perhaps he could be all round the red line before closing time. I think you're right, Jones. We can't afford to take a risk. Captain Munnery, 
I could... I could screw him down in one of my coffins. <laughs> Silly phrase, for heaven's sake, he'd, he'd suffocate. Oh, well, if you're fussy, I could bore a wee hole. Oh, get him back in your place, Fraser. Shoot him, Mr. Manry. <laughs> You're entitled to shoot oh, him. Oh, be quiet, Pike. <laughs> There's only one thing for it, we shall have to take him with us. Meanwhile, he'll have to be watched in case he talks to anybody. Yeah, well, I can watch him during the daytime, sir. I can help him out in his greengrocer's shop. I'm not having him in my shop, he'll cheat the customers. That'll make two of us. <laughs> <laughs> I can look after him at night. Thank you, Godfrey. <laughs> I'm not sleeping with that old man. <laughs> you mean I don't snore or anything? Yeah. Now, look here, Hodges. For eavesdropping on us, you could be prosecuted under the Official Secret Act. Rubbish. So do as you're told. Now, we've been detailed for highly secret and special duties. That's a great honour, and I'm not having it ruined by you. Believe me, Mr Chief Warden, You've got to be pretty special to be picked for special duties. If I only had wings.